25 a.m. I'm as good as ready, I just need to do my hair. Jen's just finished doing her teeth, but it looks like it's home time, not just for us, but for quite a few other people. This ship I've just seen moving. I'm assuming it's coming into dock, because it's stopped now. And then you've got another one just here that's coming into dock. And then there's everyone on this ship. <sighs> I'm hungry, gotta be quick. Otherwise we're gonna be late, because it's got an hour and five minutes to go and get breakfast. Make sure we've definitely got everything. Um, and head out to our meeting point. You know, we to debark, get, get off the ship, go home, go to the airport. It's all good, because kids can find Shep. Back from breakfast, the sun is starting to come up. And we've got 10 minutes to get out the room into our rendezvous point before we're ceremoniously or unceremoniously kicked off the damn boat. Ship, ship. This boat's pretty cool. It's got like two. What are they called? Two water slides. And it's got one of those little sort of like filling bucket splashy things. We don't have one of them. We've just seen a lady steal a box of tissues from the uh, the maid's trolley. But I have no idea what she's gonna do in the next 10 minutes with an entire box of tissues. Typical British weather. <laughs> oh shit. We've just arrived back at Jen's parents. They've nipped out to the shop to get something to eat because we are all hungry. I am starving. I've had one croissant since breakfast. We have had a thoroughly relaxing evening at my mum and dad's. That was after the crazy taxi driver. After the crazy taxi driver, he was swerving it out. He braked so many times on the motorway, like so hard you're gonna move forward in your seat. It was horrible. I was feeling suitably sick all the way back from the airport. And it is raining because it always rains in the northwest. And what a welcome home. Like, we got drenched coming out of the airport. Like soaked, completely soaked. We are off on our way home. We're kind of like winding our way back home, stopping off at a friend's house to go and see them first. Because we haven't seen her in a very, very long time. So we're gonna stop, say hi, and then head on back. I finally managed to drag this one away from chatting. Only 15 minutes late. I've got a two and a half hour drive at least ahead of me. That's only 15 minutes, that's not too bad. We need to go. We do. I'm a bit, I'm not that tired. I was tired. I had a nap at Jen's parents. It was like an hour and 20 minutes. Now you're fully recharged. Semi recharged. You know, you plug your phone in for a little bit of a charge and it kind of like perks it up enough you can keep it going for the rest of the day. Hopefully, that's where I'm at. That would be a good position to be at. Right, Speaking let us which, go. Though, I need to charge my phone. No, I'm charging my phone. What? You can have the camera instead. <laughs> Thanks. When I was booking Shep into Kennels a few weeks ago, I made a big mistake in sorting his dates out. And we're not supposed to be picking him up till Thursday. And today is only Tuesday, so it's like two days away. And I was really upset that we're now going to have to go home without him tonight. And then we'd have to go all day without him tomorrow Please before we get to go and pick him up. So I called the Kennels this afternoon when we landed in Manchester. And she was really lovely and she said we could come pick him up early, which is fantastic news. We are planning to go and get him tomorrow morning, very first thing. And then she called me back about half an hour later and said, you know, if you're really missing him, I can stay open for visitors until eight o'clock tonight and you can come pick him up tonight. Which was really lovely and I would have loved to have gone down tonight, but there is no, but there is just no way we could have got there in time. It's a real shame, but at least they're so flexible that we've been able to go tomorrow morning. And I can't wait to go and get my little Sheppy dog. <sighs> we've been without him for so long. And like going home tonight and sleeping in the house and getting up in the morning and he's not gonna be there. It's gonna be so sad. I really don't think I could have done a whole 24 hours in that house without him. But luckily, I don't have to, because we have awesome kennels. Finally made it back into the house. This side of midnight, which I was not expecting. But, first things first, we've got to put the kettle on because I want a cup of tea. I need a cup of tea. But, I'm going to have to go caffeine free, so chamomile for me. Jen, do you want a drink? Two chamomiles coming up. Oh, it's so cold in the house. We've had the heating off for about, well, it doesn't matter the heating's been off, it's cold. And, uh, it's a bit stinky too. It kind of smells like a cross between curry and dog. 
Not that we've had curry dog, but you know, that kind of like doggy smell and curry smell and it's just a bit gross. But I think the past couple of things we cooked in the house before we left, I think they may have actually been curry. And we never got around to vacuuming before we left, which means that it, it explains the doggy smell. Talking of doggies, I miss Shep. There's another letter jammed in the post box. It's for you. One and a half weeks and all I get to show for it is a freaking piece of junk mail. I'm assuming we're gonna be pretty much coming straight to bed. So, pulled the heater out of the other room. I've got it going in the bedroom so it's toasty and warm when we come to bed because it is cold. So cold to the point where I feel I want to go to bed with my jumper on. And that's just wrong, isn't it? That's wrong. I'm winning because I have six points and Jen only has four. That's how golf works. Yeah, well it's, it's special. Shit rules. Shit. Shit rules. Most points win. 